Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you're watching my channel Graphics 10. So in this video, we are going to see how we can add patterns to clothes and that too very easily. So in other words, we can create really good mockups using some basic tools. So let's get started. So first of all, I have created this selection. So you can select any tool that you want to select the required area. In this case, I have selected this shirt. So we are going to create mockups but we also want to make them look realistic so first of all as we have selected this area we need to i will delete this blank layer first we need to duplicate this particular area so i am going to press ctrl j or if you are using mac you can press command j now once you do that we can simply add pattern so first of all i am taking this ready-made pattern which is a floral pattern very basic so I'm going to drag it on this area and make sure that it is bigger than the size of the shirt. So that's it. So now we only want this to be present on the area of the shirt. So I'm going to clipping, use the clipping mask option. So you can either right click on the layer and use clipping mask or you can simply press and hold alt key and go between the layers and simply left click so that the upper layer is clipped to the bottom layer but as you can see i will move it a little bit up so as you can see this is not looking realistic it is looking flat so we need to change the blending modes so i'm going to change it to multiply so you can already see it is looking more realistic as you can see the folds onto the shirt now again we go to the duplicate layer and we will also change the blending mode of this layer also so the tone gets a bit darker but this is looking a bit realistic like a mock-up as you can see the folds and the shirt details we can see clearly now if you are still not happy with the result you can again we, you can make extra duplicate ctrl j or command j and take it upwards again you need to clip use the clipping mask option so clipping mask and clipping mask and if you are still not happy you can always change so we have used multiply blending option to both these layers but for the third layer you can always choose different option so let's say if i use darken it will give a slightly different result so this is how it will look it is looking pretty good to me pretty realistic so this is to see the original image press and hold alt key or option key and click so this is original image and this is what we have created so this is basically adding patterns to clothes or creating realistic mockups let's say if you are still not happy with the result and you are you want to change the lighting the brightness or the darkness of the image you can simply add adjustment layer from here so you can either use levels or curves so i'm going with curves for this particular example and make sure that you also clip the adjustment layer so that it doesn't affect the background otherwise it will also affect the background now you can choose the values as per your liking if you think that it is bit dark then you can make it brighter and if you think it is brighter you can make it slightly darker whatever you like so if you are happy with the result you can stop so this is how it will look this is without the adjustment layer and this is with the adjustment layer so this is looking pretty good to me as you can see looking pretty realistic so firstly we have created this mock-up or we have added this pattern to clothes but we have used the ready-made pattern so now for our second second example i will turn all the layers off now for the second example i will group this or i'll simply delete this for the second example i am going to use we are going to create a new pattern all together so create a new document and we are only creating a small document so first change the unit so pixels then I'm going to create 100 by 100 pixel 
and keep the resolution 300 you didn't know you don't need to change anything else so this is what we are looking so this is our pattern this is our third pattern i will keep this over here now i am going to create simple dots so using ellipse tool i am going to create one dot i am going to choose this color lavender color or purple color and i am going to make a, another copy by using alt or option key i will keep it slightly to the left now i am go again going to change it to yellow color and again copy alt or option key and left click to copy any selected object and i am going to keep this over here and make sure they are perfectly aligned and i am only choosing this color combination as an example you can use different color combinations that will give you a different result now i am going to convert this into a pattern so i am going to turn off the background so that the white color doesn't appear in the pattern now i am going to convert this into a pattern entire document so go to edit and define pattern and i will simply name it dots you can name whatever you want that doesn't really matter i will close this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new blank layer and i don't want it to be clipped as yet now i'm going to change it is already multiply i'm going to create a selection so that it won't affect the outer area and i'm going to use the paint bucket tool and pattern so i i had already created this particular dot pattern and i'm going to fill the color or fill the pattern using the paint bucket tool now again we need to clip the layer so alt so this is how it will look now as we have created a pattern on a separate layer so one of the benefits of creating a pattern on a separate layer that we can easily transform that particular layer had we created this particular pattern on the same layer we wouldn't be able to transform this particular layer but as we have created this on a separate layer we can always change the size or orientation or we can rotate the pattern as we want so this is looking pretty good to me as you can see now again we need to change the blending mode so this is looking realistic i will change it slightly this is looking pretty realistic again if you want you can create extra layer control j and like this clipping mask and you, if you feel it is looking too dark you can always decrease the opacity like this and again you can use the adjustment layer make sure to clip it and you can change the brightness as per your requirement or as per your liking so this is looking pretty realistic to me so again we can check this is before alt key press and hold alt key to get the original to keep this one visible one layer visible alt left click this is before and this is after so this is how it will look we will use another pattern so this pattern over here i have changed it to change the size to 100 pixel by 100 pixel 100 pixel in width again i am going to create a pattern out of this so edit go to define pattern now butterfly you can name whatever you want again i am going to delete this delete delete now again i am going to select the area so that it won't fill the rest of the area create a new layer using the paint bucket tool select pattern from here and again choose this pattern butterfly and click again since we have created it on a separate layer we can simply clip it alt plus left click and you can change the size if you want you can always rotate like this press enter 
so this is how it will look again we need to change the blending mode to multiply again create extra layer if you are not happy take it upward and again clip it so this is how it will look and again if you are not happy use this time I will use levels option like this so as you can see you can always change or rotate like this so this is alt plus left click before and after so we have easily created mockups using simple options and we have tried different types of patterns ready-made patterns and once we have also created a completely new pattern and we have applied it to the clothes so this is how we can create or add patterns to clothes or create realistic looking mockups so i hope this video is useful for you and if you do find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers